What's up everybody? Johnny here and I'm playing Whispering Willows. Last time I was having a little trouble figuring out where the hell to go. Well, guess what? You know, while not recording, I've played around, I've jumped around, I've looked at a bunch of stuff. And instead of going online and looking at it and having it spoiled for me, I figured it out. Finally. The, the, the chick in the attic was right, like where the well is. I didn't really realize where the well was until I went all the way in the far corner and da 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 da! Here's the well. Like a, like a, like an idiot. But uh, yeah, let's enter the well. He did say he remembered falling very far, so maybe this is where his body is. Grab me, kill me. Thank you for your help. Lemma. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I can now finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye. Elena. Do, 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 do. You can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's in a mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Free bird! <laughs> Going up the rope. Pulling on the rope, pulling on the rope, bring myself up, pulling on the rope. Open it, don't snap. Open it, don't snap. Oh, don't know. Let me leave down here. Now. To the mansion. Oh, read. Forever alone. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wandered. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, drinking soda. He'd wandered the world for far. Too long. He'd wandered. He'd wandered this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. And thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've gotten. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking. From the outside, I really don't want to go. I really don't want to do it. But if it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. Wink, wink. That's terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Goodbye, folks, everybody. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> go. Oh, I found my way into the mansion. Chapter two, Wortham's Warrior. Okay, how many chapters are in this game? Okay, for an old creepy mansion, this looks very nice on the inside. Out. I met with the Kwantako shaman this morning, a man named Flying Hawk. We met and discussed the bordering of this land, but our conversation took a turn. He told me that this area was rifled with spiritual power, that the vial be veil between this life and the next was thinner than elsewhere. We spoke of Martha, that he could help me see her again, and I believed him, and he offered me his peace pipe. I wasn't sure, but the man told me that it would help me help me t to free myself i partook of the strange smoke and uh, god damn it 
I partook of the strange smoke he gave me, and the man told me I must let go of her if I wished to see her again. That my spirit must be pure. We sat in the meditation for some time, my mind raced all the while. A bout of paranoia seized me and realized what this medicine was what this medicine man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future, have me live a life of savagery. I knew he was trying to prison my mind, and I would have wait and I would have wagered that the smoke was a nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide such insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged this necromancer to fight me, but he did not stir. I wrapped my hand around his throat, still he did not move. I squeezed until I felt the life leave from his body and he slumped down. I released my grip with my fingers peeled from his skin as he fell back from me. I exited the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from this earth, as God would command me to do. Darby even made his Darby even made his first kill. I would be proud of him, but he trembled by his horse the rest of the battle. It was just a little girl. They're savages after all. That's pretty fucked up, man. Dum -dum. locked okay I try the other side then don't want to press the button spirits nearby Darby O'Huller oh it's just a wee lass both them's me best mate you won't be getting past me you don't want to see the likes of ya. Me wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. He comes apart, comes across as Irish to me. Sorry. Got a phone call. What the fuck was that? Sorry. <laughs> what? I met a huge man. <clears throat> ah! Clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. I met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish. Hey, that's what I thought it. But I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wortham. I think Wortham was the man who owned the mansion. We learned about him in, high, in, in school. He helped to create our town. I don't know. I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't tell. He didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. This little girl is fucking nosy. Hmm. Uh. Door's locked. Big surprise. Well, this door's open. There's a spirit in here. What? Claire O'Hola. My poor Darby. Is murdered. His murder was never found, despite my efforts. I tried. I was looking into his death, but something stopped me. To this day, I don't know what it was. 
Please help me, Elena. I can't rest until his murderer is found. Oh. Wonder who killed him. the few remaining of my bloodline ascended from a line of powerful shaman. I may not have the powers they once did, but my atonement with nature remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognize this, but there's a subtle, in subtle energy at play here that permanent the very air I breathe. I think I said that right. I don't know. God. The veil between the planes of life and death in this place is thin. Spirits seem to pass between planes as though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. I want to know what love is. I... I am possessing a desk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> what, ghost up? Must go down. Yeah, you're lame. That's an achievement on here. It said, what? Ghost up, must go down. Nothing over here, anyways, so. Missing. What am I not seeing? <sighs> Interesting. I wonder if it knocks something down at the bottom down here. It did not. Uh, I tried to push it up and see what would happen. If I can even move it, because then if I can move it, then maybe I can go up and use it kind of like an elevator in a way. You know what I mean, bro? Okay. 
wonder what I have to do with this. For some reason, I was kind of thinking I had to. Maybe because it's just blocking that hole right there. I don't know why I have to move it. What the hell is that? Trophy room. Ah, oh, I have to possess the trophy room key. <laughs> to possess a key. What the hell? What? I don't see any other way in there, man. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, okay, so it can go through like that. Haha, <laughs> trophy room key. <laughs> On to the trophy room. What's the trophy room at the bottom? Or is it up here? Oh, trophy room key it was. Okay, cool. And that's where I'm gonna have to end this. Uh, sorry. Thank you guys for watching. My name's John. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see me live stream, um, which is what I'm doing right now as I'm recording this, uh, duh. Um, go to my Twitch, John Homicide. Um, and, or if you're watching this from Twitch, uh, you can watch my YouTube, which is Johnny Whitehead. Um, I try to put videos out every day, one or two. It's been a while since I've done two. Maybe I should start doing that more often, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. See ya.